Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is going to be another exercise here on uh, basic relationships of probability. Specifically here we're going to look at another uh, application of this addition law. So in, in this scenario we're running a business, we're upgrading our equipment, uh, we're going to have this new equipment inspected before, uh, before we install it. So in order to plan for the downtime we're going to uh, get some more information about this inspector's history. So here I've got a table of information how many inspections um, and number of days to completion. So I have oops, so I have one inspection took two days, three inspections took three days, two inspections took four days and, and so on. So here we're going to respond to these questions to determine what's the probability that we're done in four days or more, five days or fewer, four or five days, etc. So where this question's a little bit different uh, is that it's completely exhausting the probability space. So by that, what I mean is, you know, we typically draw Venn diagrams to answer these types of problems. So I have something like this. This is the probability of A. This is the probability of event B. This is the intersection of A and B, so both events occurring. And then everything outside of that uh, is the complement to the union of these two events. So this whole space, this is the complement to the union of A and B, which we can just use as the notation uh, P A U B uh, complement which indicates this is the probability of neither of these events occurring. Now, in this case, uh, it's completely exhaustive. There is no um, complement to the union. Uh, and, and so we'll see that when we work through, when we work through the, uh, the example. I'm sort of giving away uh, the answer here to part D, actually, because that's where we'll see that there is no complement, uh, or in essence, the complement is zero. So let's let's work through what we have. So here's here's how I'm going to do this one. Rather than putting together um, a Venn diagram, we're working with uh, a set of time, and I have an observation uh, for each of these outcomes. So let's uh, have one. Uh, this will be actually two, three, four five, six, and seven. So here I'm putting together a timeline. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, and this is corresponding to these number of days of completion. Now, what I'm going to do next, now I'm going to look at, okay, part A. What is the probability that it will take uh, four days or more to complete the inspection? So here I'm going to isolate four days or more. And so how many observations exist within that time period? So four days or more. Here I'm going to isolate these. I have two, four, I have six observations in that red space. Uh, six inspections uh, took four days or more. Now if I look at the next, I'm going to be looking at what is the probability it'll take five days or fewer. So this is part B. Uh, B. So five days or fewer, here's this space here, and five days or fewer, uh, two, four, seven, I have eight observations in that blue space. Now C, this is uh, really getting at the interaction, um, or sorry, the, the intersection of these two events. What's the probability it'll take four or five days? Now we're not talking probabilities yet. Here we're just kind of gathering our information. So here is that intersection, uh, four or five days. I have four in there. Notice that green four. It's included in this six and it's also included in this eight. So it's already really been counted, um, but here I'm adding it again because that's how many observations of those eight and those six uh, fit into both. So this is the intersection, uh, the un uh, the where, where both of these events hold true. Four or five days uh, is true for both uh, four days or more or five days or fewer. I hope that makes sense. Okay.
let's um, let's move on now and and calculate these in terms of their respective probabilities. So here I'm just going to scroll down and give myself a little bit of space. I'm going to redraw this. I'm going to redraw what we have here. Oops. So here's my time. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and now I'm gonna have, so there's my red. I'm completely copying what I have up here. But now I wanna calculate the respective probabilities. So now I'm gonna get the answer for part A. So what is the probability that it's gonna take uh, four days or more? So I have a total of uh, how many days here? Or sorry, how many inspections are we looking at? We're looking at a total of uh, 10 inspections, right? This is my information for my last 10 inspections. And of those 10, of those 10 inspections, I've counted that six of them uh, took four days or more. So here I'm going to write down as, as my notation. So the probability of four days or more is equal to six out of 10. So this is just 0.6. So a 60% chance uh, that it took more than uh, four days. And here now this probability is five days or fewer. So now I'm looking at part B, five days or fewer this was eight. I should keep my colors together. Why is that? There we go. So now I'm going to have my probability five days or fewer. This is eight out of ten. So this is eighty percent, or sorry, probability of 0.8 uh, that it will be five days or fewer. So that's this space here. This is 0.8, and our red space here is 0.6. Part C, what's the probability that it will take four or five days? So that's this area here. That's our intersection. So the intersection of four days or more intersect with five days or fewer. This is four out of 10. So this is a probability of 0.4. So there I've got all of our probabilities. Now, notice that these four observations here are included in here and in here. So they are, they are counted in both this probability and in this probability. So it's being essentially double counted if we were to just add them together. Here we're looking at part D. What is the probability it will take four days or more or five days or fewer? So you may be inclined to say, well, this, this probability here is that it will be four days or more. So I'm going to take 0 0.6. This is the probability that it's five days or fewer, point, uh, point 0.8. So I'm just going to add those together and that will give me a union between four days or more and five days or fewer. But if we do that, we're double counting these four observations. We're double counting this region here because that probability is included in both. So it's for that reason that we need to subtract the intersection of those two events, which is this point 0.4. Otherwise, we're double counting it. And so now, in order to have, in order for me to have the union, if I take point 0.6 plus point 0.8 minus point 0.4, it's 1. Well, here we can see that this probability space, these two events are exhaustive of the probability space. It's a 100% chance, given this information, 
that it will take four days or more or five days or fewer. And intuitively, yeah, it kind of makes sense. So there's our, our, our addition law. When, when our events are not mutually exclusive, meaning that there's an intersection between those two events, we have to subtract out that intersection, otherwise we're double counting. And in this case, we would have had a probability of 1.4. We can't have probabilities greater than one. Uh, it's just not possible. So we subtract out the intersection, uh, and this gives us the union of these two events occurring. Okay, I hope that that makes this a little bit more clear. Thanks for watching.